Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome to the Daily Read. Uh, in the scriptures, the Bible tells us in Revelations 1 and 3, Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. I'm going to be blessed because I'm reading the word of God. And then it says, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So you're going to be blessed to hear it. I'm going to be blessed to read it. Uh, that's amazing. That's awesome. God said, blessed. You know, because sometimes people uh, might say, I don't need nobody to read no Bible to me. Well, you know, the Bible says, blessed is he that readeth. And blesses he that hear it. And then in Romans 10, 17, let's kill all of those little sacred cows, spiritual cows that we got. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing. And then it tells you what to hear. And hearing by the word of God. So every day that you hear the word of God, there's going to be some uh, level of faith that you're going to encounter. And then in Ecclesiastes 5 and 1, it says, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear. There's nothing wrong with hearing. Hearing is a blessing. Thank God you're able to hear spiritually. Amen. Thank God your spiritual ear is open. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank and I praise you. I ask you, Lord, to open up the ears of the people that they might hear something through this reading today, through this uh, daily reading that will be a blessing to them, that will bring uh, understanding to them that will encourage them, that will lift them up, and will give them hope in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I ask that you just speak through my mouth to read. Let your word just proceed out of my mouth like rivers of living water, giving life to the hearers and that more abundantly in Jesus' name. Today, we're going to be reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 3 and chapters 4. We'll be reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 3 and chapters 4. Please feel free to share this video on any platform that you may be on. Please feel free at any time to invite others to tune in as well. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 3, commencing at verse 1. Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan. And all the king of Bashan came out against us. He and all his people, the battle of Edria. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into thy hand. And thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Hezbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all his people. And we smote him until none was left to, to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them. Three score cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars beside unwalled towns, a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men women and children of every city but all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves and we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the amorites the land that was on this side jordan from the river of Arnon unto mount hermon which hermon the sidonians call syrian and the amorites call it shinar all the cities of the plain and all Gilead of Bash uh, and all Bashan unto Salkah and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Gog, Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabeth of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits were the length thereof. Fuel, fuel, four cubits the breadth thereof, after the cubit of a man. And this land, which we possess at that time from Aar, which is by the river Arnon, 
half Mount Gilead and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites. The rest of Gilead and all Bisham being the kingdom of all, gave I unto the half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argon, with all Bishan, which was called the land of the giants. Praise his wonderful name. Jah, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Argon and to the coast of Jasra and Malkashi and called them after his own name, Bashi ha ba -jar, unto this day. And I gave Gilead unto Mesha, and unto Reubenites, and unto the Gittites. I gave from Gilead even to the river on half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabba, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also and Jordan, and the coast there from Shinareth, even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea unto under Ashtar Pishgah, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over on before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that are meant for the war, but your wives and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that you have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you, until the Lord have given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God has given them beyond Jordan. And then shall you return every man unto his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto these two kings. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, Thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain in Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Boy, Moses got himself in a bunch of mess there. <laughs> Get thee up unto the top of Pisgah, and lift thine hand, eyes eastward, westward, and northward, southward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before his people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley over against Beth Peor. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, commencing at verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord your God of your fathers giveth you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Father gives you stuff. Your eyes, oh, your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy God has destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who has God so high unto them? as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to yourself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen, 
unless they depart from their heart all the days of their life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in horror. When the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I'll make them hear my words. Notice what he said. He'll make them hear thy words. Hearing the word of God is very important. Because faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Then it says, That they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. And ye came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. He heard the voice of, his, of the words. Here we go again, hearing. But saw no similitude. Only ye heard a voice. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourself, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in horror out of the midst of the fire, lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth, unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven should be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. But the Lord has taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. Furthermore, the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, and swear that I should not go over Jordan, and that I should not go into unto that good land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over Jordan, but ye should go over and possess that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God has forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. And thou shalt beget children and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves and make a graven image or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whithersoever ye shall go over Jordan to possess it. You shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in them among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. There ye shall serve God, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation, tribulation and all these things will come upon thee, even in thy latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shall be obedient to his voice, for the Lord thy God is a merciful God. Thank God for your mercy. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, neither nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swear unto them. For as now the days that are past, which are, were before thee, which the day that God created man upon the earth, and as from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there has been any such thing as this great thing is, or have been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of God? Speaking out of the midst of the fire? As thou hast heard and live, Or has God a sway to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation? By temptation, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes? Unto do it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God. 
There is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee. Here we go hearing his voice again. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing is very important to have a hearing ear so you can hear the voice of God, that you can hear what God is saying. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee. And upon earth he showed thee this great fire, and thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. Here we go again, hearing something, hearing the word, hearing God out of the fire. God want to speak to you when you are in your fires. Whatever the enemy's type of fire the enemy is trying to bring against you, God wants you to hear his voice, and he's going to bring you out of every fire that you get in, because you're going to hear a deliverance word from the Lord. Verse 37, and because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt to drive out nations from before thee greater and mightier than thou art to bring thee in to give thee their land for the inheritance as it is this day. Know therefore this day and consider in thine heart that the Lord, he is God in heaven above and upon the earth beneath. There is none else. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth which the Lord thy God giveth thee forever. Then Moses severed three cities on this side, Jordan toward the sun rising, that the slayer might flee thither, which should kill his neighbor unawares and hated him not in time past, and that fleeing into one of these cities he might live namely Beza, in the wilderness, in the plainer country of the Reubenites, and Ramoth in Gilead of the Gittites, and Golan in Bashan of the Manasseh sites. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel after they came forth out of Egypt. On this side, Jordan in the valley over against Beth Peor, in the land of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwell at Heshbon whom Moses and the children of Israel smote after they were come forth out of Egypt. And they possessed his land and the land of all king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, which were on this side Jordan toward the sun rising, from Arioth, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even unto Mount Sion, which is Harmon. And all the plain on this side Jordan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain under the springs of Pisgah. Amen. Thus, I have read the book of De Deuteronomy, chapters 3 and chapters 4. Thank each and every one of you for tuning in today. I appreciate you so much. I pray that you've heard something from the reading of the word of the Lord that encouraged your heart, that strengthened, that built up your most holy faith. That will help you go forth this day. I pray that the Holy Spirit has invaded your spirit. And I thank God me that you've heard something that will help you throughout this day well god bless you thank you all each and every one of you again for tuning in i appreciate you so much i want you to know this jesus loves you i love you and may god richly bless you as my prayers and don't you never ever forget this you hear what i'm saying now don't you never forget this don't call it the way you see it call it the way you want it to be see you tomorrow for the daily reading of the word of the Lord.